Hey, welcome to T4 Adventures. So today we are going to fix our off camber issues on our front wheels. So I don't know if you remember the video before where it alludes to this video. I was sitting just like this. They were, they were out there quite a bit. It was kind of awkward looking. So today we're gonna straighten them up. We're gonna show you what tool to use and just exactly how we're gonna straighten those tires up. So stick around, check it out. All right, so our uh, tool that we ordered off of Amazon to adjust the suspension, uh, the smaller end does work. However, tightening it, I need to get on the back side of here and the little, uh, I believe it's the brake reservoir is kind of blocking. I can't fully get the tool in there to turn it. So I have to resort to the old flathead screwdriver and mallet. So this is just for the driver's side. I think the passenger side, I don't think we have a whole lot of obstructions over there. So I think we're going to be good with that tool. It, it, just, it makes it a lot easier. It goes a lot quicker. So, all right, so let me tell you what we're doing. Basically, uh, we're trying to fix the camber. We're trying to get it a little bit more straight. And by adjusting the suspension. So we're gonna tighten the suspension. We're gonna tighten it down. That's gonna try to hopefully force it out this way a little bit. Just a little bit, because uh, we're going to get a lot of uneven wear on this side versus the outside. And we will rotate the tires as well as we go along. So what I've done, I've taken a red Sharpie and I've just marked one of the deals here. That way I know uh, for sure how many turns I've gone. So, so far I've done two clicks, so that's just a one full turn. Uh, I'm going to try two more and then we'll see how it looks. All right, we're on the passenger side now. We've got our uh, locking ring loose. So that's the direction we need to go to, or we need to go the opposite direction to tighten. So I got our jack, floor jack under the machine, we got raised up. We are able to move the tire. So I think we're gonna have plenty of room here to uh, use our tool. So we're gonna come this direction and tighten. First, we need to mark it with the red marker so we know uh, how many clicks we've gone. We're just going to mark this first one right here. No, not that one. The bottom one. Uh, so we're going to mark this one here. It's going to be right next to this. And we'll know we have a full click. I know it's kind of hard to see that, but you are able to tell once it gets going around. So right, let's give this a try. So this tool there's a big side and there's a smaller side. The smaller side actually works for this. I'll leave a link in the description box below for this tool if you want to use it and to do this. It's uh, pretty much all around good for uh, good all around for uh, now dirt bikes, four wheelers, all that. You may have to get on this back side as well. Maybe. Uh, we might not be able to use this tool. Uh, we'll see what we got. Yeah, I guess we'll be able to. Hopefully you can see what's going on down there. All right, so we're just gonna do uh, four full clicks 
that's what we did on the other side and then uh we'll open up the garage door we'll back it up out and uh we'll compare it to uh a video that i took before uh we did this all right so i think our off camber issues are pretty much fixed i like how the position of the front wheels are compared to where they were uh before they were pretty off camber something like that now they're just about straight up and down what we have here is just fine so our tool that we had uh, it does work on the big side and the small side and uh, like I said I'll leave a link in the description box for that in case you want to do this so it was 20 full clicks on both sides 20 clicks so just take a red marker mark one of the little lugs on the ring and then that way you know that you've got a full circle so one full circle is one click so you need to go 20 times and you want to tighten it you want to compress it down so will it affect the comfort of the ride the suspension a little bit probably just a little i don't think it's going to be real noticeable uh, but i think the off camber issue is pretty noticeably fixed so anyway, there we have it. 20 clicks, both sides on the front. Fix our off camber issues. I think that's gonna save some undue wear on the inners of the tires and just give us a overall better track as we're uh, driving along. Hey, thanks for watching T4 Adventures. Uh, if you have been following me along here, I appreciate you coming back. Howdy everybody. Hey, if you're new here, I would love for you to go ahead and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. And it just helps the channel out. Of course it does. It helps every channel out. So if you find yourself watching any channel for at least two to three videos, you should go ahead and start liking their videos and give them a subscription. They would greatly appreciate that. I know I would. All right, so what's next for T4 Adventures? I think we've done quite a bit of maintenance and uh, adding on stuff to the machine here turquoise rex so i think it's about time for an adventure so where could we go well it's getting cold so it's like in the 30s here today here in central texas uh i think we're gonna some, go somewhere where it's even a little bit colder maybe a little snow i don't know we're gonna go to ruidosa new mexico and we're gonna take the rv i don't know if you can see it back over there in the background we're gonna take the rv we're not going to take the utility trailer. We're going to be able to put the turquoise Rex right in the back of the RV in the garage. Haul it over there because we found us an RV park in the city limits to where you can actually ride your machine through the towns. So you just can't go on the highways. All right. Anything over above 45 miles an hour, I think is what it is. They don't want you riding these things. But you do, however, have to have an OHV sticker. So stick around, subscribe, and look forward to that uh, adventure coming up. Adios.